If we live in a world, right, where we know for a fact somebody's in control, right? We know that black people are not really in control of this world. We know that everything is not where it seems. There are people in power, people in place that are ahead of us, you know, manipulating the scene behind us. If you if you look back to the Bible or any book, right? They're playing the role of God, right? Because they're the one control in control of the weather. They're the one causing all of the earthquakes. They're the one deciding who goes to war. They're the one telling you what to dress, what to wear, what to believe in. These people who are in power, bro, they are playing the role of God, bro. Play master. But even in the same story, right? Even in the same story, there was talk of a devil. There was talk about those who did not believe what God was, bro. They were talk about those who questioned things. There were those who questioned their reality, those who went against the grain. Those people were ostracized. Those people were called wicked. Those people were casted out, bro. So in this in this reality, now let's bring it to present day. If you believe in the elites and all of these evil motherfuckers in power, right? You, uh, you gotta believe they are the ones playing God. They are the ones in control. They're the reason why the things are fucked up. So by default, you got to believe that if you are truly a chosen one, one that's trying to upset the matrix, one that's trying to help people wake up, one that's trying to make a difference and impact in society, by default, bro, you are playing the devil of the story. You are playing the Lucifer of the story. You're the snake in the garden of Eden, bro. You are by default the devil to their story because we're trying to overthrow God, bro. And it even says in the book, the devil is born an antichrist, the devil, whatever you want to call it, is born amongst the people, bro. It ain't come from heaven. The devil ain't gonna come from the sky, bro. The devil comes from the earth, bro. We are beings from nature, bro. Where do we come from? We come from the earth, bro. The earth. The earth. That shit is crazy. Where the devil in the story, bro? Where the Lucifer's? And it's up to you. Anybody can come up and claim the Antichrist role, bro. That's the crazy thing. It, did, it never gave a full out description of the Antichrist, bro. It just said the Antichrist will come, bro. Any one of us niggas can claim that, claim that title, bro. If they truly want to make a difference and make a change in the world, bro. And then, and then only that. No, I'm gonna just keep going. And then also that they said the mark of the beast is six six six. Everybody in this room right now got carpet. That's 666, nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we made out of this. That's carbon, nigga. That's crazy. crazy. Go ahead, though. Keep going, Chris. You're going to you going to roll, nigga. No okay. cap. But I'm saying, bro. But it, the book also talks about how those who are in power, bro, the, fir- the people who are first in the world are going to be last, and people who are last in the world are going to be first, bro. If we as melanated people are being oppressed, killed, manipulated, used for body parts, put down over every other race, bro, the last are gonna be first, bro. Whether it's gonna be planet neighbor. Now this ties in, what I'm about to say ties into what Vaughn was saying about 6,000 years ago and what really happened. Cause what I watched and what I figured out is every 6,000 years, bro, every 6,000 years, there's an equinox. There's a solar equinox where every planet, every celestial body, every moon, every planet aligns with the sun at the same angle and the same ratio, right? They align exactly the same. The last time that this happened was 6,000 years ago at the start of religion. 2020, December 21st is going to be the first time in 6,000 years, bro where the planets are all gonna align, bro. So that means shit's gonna pop off. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly what it means, but all I know is from what I've learned, bro, this is why 2020 has been such a crazy ass year with all these events going on, bro. Cause 2020 is the end of an era. And the start, like you said, the new age of Aquarius that we going into, bro, is literally the end of the era, the start of a new equinox period, the start, a restart to the world, bro. Do I think the world is going to end? Nah, it's not going to end. But it's time for those who are last to finally overthrow those who are in power, bro. The elites know they're about to lose, bro. 
Yeah, they know sure. they are about to lose. They're just trying to prolong it as long as they can, bro. They ain't gonna kill us. They ain't getting to us, bro. No, oh, they really want to make yeah. a difference and do something in life, bro. We're gonna do something about it, bro. So don't even worry.